Hello Safish community and welcome back to another World Times console video. So in this video I'm going to be driving the Ajit 934 which is a Western Alliance Era 2 light tank. And also this is stage 1. This is your reward for stage 100 if you have a season pass. You don't get this tank if you don't have a season pass. So if you do end up liking this tank, get it. Get the season pass. It's only like 2,000 gold. Boom. Done. And you get your 2,000 gold back. And you get this tank. So, cool. Anyway. So, the no object 934. Let me just say what equipment I have on this tank. And cruise kills I have on this tank. So, let's go ahead and say that. I have advanced concealment. Advanced powertrain. Traction system. And enhanced target info. The skills I have is Supply Conservation, Quick Learner, Born Leader, and Sixth Sense. That's all I have on the tank. I don't have any camo, but my camo is actually pretty decent because it's rating at 96.22, which actually puts me low enough to be undetectable. Undetected, only except for being proxy spotted, which in Cold War is 32 meters, I think that. How we found out. I think it's 32 meters. Unless I fire. Which I lose all of my concealment. All pretty much all of my concealment. Anyway. So the Ajit 934. This is actually a very different light tank. Than you see in Cold War. Especially in Era 2. Like any era actually. This tank is very big. For it's size. Like it's very big. This is not a small tank. This is a big tank that has 440 alpha, and the gun depression is actually pretty bad on this tank at 5 degrees. So its rate of fire is 7.59 with a 440 alpha gun, which gives it a DPM of 4,403. Don't know if that's good for Cold War Era 2, but it sounds really nice. Doesn't get a lot of rounds at 40. Also, the missiles. It gets ATGMs, which is your third round, which you can only carry four of them. But they do 870 damage. So, yeah, and also they're decently slow. So, yeah. Also, if you notice, I have, like, driver has been knocked out. So, that means for the entire rest of this game, I'm not going to have a driver. So I'm just going to be putting the gun at work. So that's going to be decently eh. So the v armor of this tank is absolutely non-existent. I did also forget that you do get a neat skin for this tank. It's The skin is free if you reach a certain level in the season pass. Which is... I'm looking... Level 50. You get the state. You get the tank skin at level 50, and you must have the season pass to get it. And there we go. We shot a mobat with the missile and nearly got taken out by that mobat. And then we'll just not shot in the move. And here's Sheridan. So let's talk about the horsepower per ton and top speed of this tank. This tank goes 69.9. Ford and 20.9 reverse it has a horsepower per ton at 22.86 so it's not the fastest of light tanks it's the one of the biggest light tanks in cold war era too so but you do sacrifice your size of your tank and a little bit of your mobility to gain atgms only four of those and a decently good alpha gun for a light tank in Cold War, especially Era 2. It's 440. I know I've already said that, but trade-offs here. So what else about this tank? If you notice, I've been struggling to use that 5 degrees of gun depression. Because 5 degrees of gun depression, when you have a very long tank like this, that does not work very well. And I believe you have more gun depression over the side. We don't actually have a website to actually check that. But it feels like you do have more gun depression over the side. 
So, keep that in mind. Even though, also even though, with a dead driver, I am still going like 74, 75. Also, I do have to let you know, I am using both speed equipments. Remind y'all about that. So, what do I think about this tank? Um, I could, I kind of like it. Is it worth the 2,000 gold grinding out the season pass? I would say yes. Honestly. Yeah, it'd be a nice tank. Just spend the 2,000 gold, grind out the season pass, all to 100 stages. And season pass is very easy to grind out, so. And you get your 2,000 gold back. Very easy. It's actually a pretty decent tank. The accuracy gets at 0.32, and times 2.3. I thought I would mention that. And you get 80 gems, so. What's not to like about this light tank? It is very big. And yeah, you also get a cool skin because you also have two eyeballs at the front of your tank, at the front of your skin. So yeah, who knows? If you enjoyed, so yeah, that was a victory on Fred Vang. And we only got second, honestly. Did 50, nearly 5,200 damage. Made a 295,000 silver. I was using a 1.5 times silver boost. And that's it for this video. Remember, like, comment, subscribe. Also, my fish because I'm always shy. And peace out. See ya.